When you put Drummer in the Arrange window, it's going to automatically generate a couple of regions for you. And then down below, you're going to see the Drummer interface. The way that this works is on the left-hand side, you have your Drummer and your kit. And on the right-hand side, you have all of your styles and variations. So over on the left-hand side, if I click here, I get the style of music that I'm going for. There's right now rock, alternative, songwriter, and R&B. If we choose a genre, then it's going to show us the drummers within that genre. Each drummer has a really specific personality. And Apple, when they decided to do drummer, hired some of the best drummers in the world to come in and lay down their grooves so that they could be utilized within drummer. So in this case, we have five rock drummers. We have four alternative drummers four singer-songwriter drummers, and then two R&B drummers. Each drummer's personality will be shown if you double-click on their picture. As you can see here, influenced by modern rock, but comfortable with most genres, Kyle plays straightforward rock beats on a natural, versatile kit. And then below him, you have the actual drum kit that he's playing. Note that when I hover over the drum kit, I can actually load up the drum kit settings, bringing us to Drum Kit Designer, which we're going to be covering in the second half of this course. So this is his drum kit pieced together and processed specifically for him. And that's Kyle. Over on the right hand side, we have all of our different presets. So these are all the preset styles. And then there's a little gear that says if you want to save the preset, save all your settings that you use within the preset. You can keep your settings and then change drummers. That's always really handy when you have a very specific feel that you've worked on. And then you can load and you can save content. On the right hand side you have a grid where you can change between loud and soft in terms of the dynamics. This is the volume of the playing. And then you have complex versus simple. And this grid allows you to sort of change the flavor the drummer's playing. Next to that, we have the percussion variations, hi-hat variations, and kick and snare variations. Then fills and swing. So this is how many fills we're going to get within a measure, and this is uh, how we're going to, you know, how the uh, swing feel feels. Underneath that, we have details, which brings us to the feel, whether we wanted to push or pull the beat. We have ghost notes, whether they're quiet or loud. A ghost note on a snare is kind of when you drag the drumstick. It's not the hit, but it's the subdivisions between the hit that are at a low volume. And we'll listen to those in a little bit. And then we have the variation between our close and our open hi-hat. And that's the basic layout. It's very, very simple. So on the left-hand side, we have the drummer in the kit. And on the right-hand side, we have the preset and all the various settings. Let's explore how some of this works.